Hello friends, followers and channel members, welcome to a video about a game-changing product for Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020. Nobody can deny that Microsoft Flight Simulator is visually stunning and Azobo have done a fantastic job of recreating thousands of airports spanning the entire globe. But there has always been one area of this simulator which has let it down. I'm talking, of course, about the AI aircraft and the liveries of the aircraft that we have when we fly around. The AI traffic, whether you're using real-time on-live traffic or just general AI traffic, or the static aircraft which you see parked at the gates, all of that traffic is generic liveries, unless you have downloaded specific liveries from websites such as flightsim.to. But even then, they do not affect live traffic or AI traffic. That is, until now. A few months ago, Aerosoft announced that they were bringing out a product that would replace the textures of AI traffic in Microsoft Flight Simulator. A few months later, however, sadly, Sim Update 5 changed the way that the textures were all rendered, and that meant that the project was a dead duck. And this was, of course, very upsetting for all of us who were really looking forward to this Aerosoft product. Following Sim Update 6, however, we got some great news from Aerosoft in that they had relaunched the work they were doing on this AI traffic replacement, and it is now available for you to see here in this video entitled Simple Traffic. In this video, we're going to have an in-depth review, we're going to have a look at what it does, what it doesn't do, and we're also going to check it out with VATSIM traffic as well. As I know many of you are into model matching on VATSIM, so we're going to see if this product can also be used in conjunction with, uh, with VATSIM. So stick around for that a little bit later on. Let's talk about what this new product cannot do to begin with. So simple traffic does not affect the positioning or movements of the default traffic in Microsoft Flight Simulator. It doesn't affect the routes of the AI traffic or the live traffic that is that is being fed into Microsoft Flight Simulator from the Azobo servers. If you are using live traffic and, for example, an airline appears which has not got a livery in this product from Aerosoft, then it will simply choose an airline at random. So, for example, you may see an American regional airline in, uh, in Europe. However, Aerosoft has said that as more liveries get added to this program, that problem will slowly diminish. Finally then, if using this program, you should set your static aircraft, the ground aircraft density in the simulator, to zero, because the simulator selects ground traffic liveries from random, and the simple traffic program has no control over this, and there's no way to avoid this right now. Installation is just nice and simple. It effectively just pops in all the new liveries for the traffic into your community folder. Once that is done, there is no special user interface required. It is all done through the usual traffic setting in Microsoft Flight Simulator. Once I'd installed it, to, in order to check it, I did turn up my ground static scenery aircraft just to see if the new liveries were working, and of course, they were indeed. Here I am though at London's Heathrow, and we can see various airlines that you would never find at Heathrow, but we are aware of this problem as it is flagged up by Aerosoft, and this only happens when using static ground traffic. If occasionally seeing the wrong airline in the wrong location doesn't affect you, then by all means, of course, leave some ground static aircraft turned on. You can tell when you get close up to the models that these are just the basic generic Azobo aircraft with replacement textures. And I don't personally see this as a bad thing. Yes, the models aren't great, but it means that they are very FPS friendly, which obviously is ultimately what many of us are striving to achieve. So yes, static aircraft may not be the correct liveries in the right locations, but where this product really shines is when you remove the static liveries and use live traffic. So let's just go ahead and have a look at doing that. It's all done through the usual traffic menu in the general options. So I'm going to reduce the ground aircraft density down to zero, so no static aircraft will now be showing. We're going to use real-time online traffic, and I'm then also going to turn on the show traffic nameplate. The idea behind that is I'm then going to be able to see what airlines should be shown, and we can see whether the deliveries are indeed doing their jobs. 
after reloading back in then I was absolutely astonished to see this scene here. Real live British Airways flights at London Heathrow complete with the uh, new addition of the JetBlue aircraft which is a new flight recently launched by JetBlue from Heathrow to New York all showing with the correct liveries at London Heathrow and of course this is a complete game changer for those of you that don't like flying on VATSIM. I did also manage to catch the landing of an aircraft whose livery is not included in the simple traffic pad and you can see obviously it just chooses a random livery. Uh, this one actually doesn't look too out of place here but that was just pure luck. Heading over then to New York's JFK airport we saw Delta aircraft, correct call signs, correct liveries and I was also lucky enough while filming to catch the landing of a Japan Airlines from Tokyo again all showing correct with the right liveries. So yes, simple traffic is amazing and does a great job for those of you that like to fly with live traffic. But what if, like me, you much prefer flying on VATSIM with real other simulator pilots around the world? How could we use this program for model matching and is there actually a way to do it? Let's find out. So with the use then of a fantastic program called Model Matching Magic created by McCall and available to download from flightsim.to, what this program does is it scans your community folder for all the deliveries that you currently have installed. So if we go ahead and click scan, give it a second and it will come up with every livery that Simple Traffic from Aerosoft has installed. We do however need to go in and actually tweak all this and I'm not going to do a full tutorial video uh, here on that now but you can see the aircraft type field is blank and this is quite important as you need to add the aircraft types if you're going to be using model matching. So it took me quite a bit of time, a few hours in fact, to go through and add each aircraft type to the respective airline ICAO and it also then became apparent as you were doing it which models you needed to use to get them to uh, show correctly so that everything wasn't coming across as, uh, as an Airbus 380 for example and as you look down you could see that the way Aerosoft manage them and label them you've got things like twin jets, regional jets, large regional jets, small uh, twin jets, medium, twin jets, heavy, that kind of thing. Once you've got your head around that it wasn't actually too long it was just time consuming and laborious. After we'd set this up I could then generate the VMR file and check it out in VATSIM. The VMR file had been created, I had selected it in the model matching uh, settings for vPilot, hit connect making sure that I'm connecting in observer mode so I don't interrupt uh, any aircraft that may be here at London Gatwick and now it was just a waiting game to see if they spawned in and to my absolute delight there I could see all the correct airlines showing in the correct colors, correct liveries, etc. And I verified this by using VATSPY at the same time. So I knew that all of these airlines were exactly the right liveries uh, being shown here in the simulator. No pink liveries. This to me is so exciting. It's not perfect in terms of the physical models of the aircraft, but in terms of liveries, well, we're not going to have any more pink textures. All of these are Sim Update 5 compliant and sim update 6 compliant so yeah really nice you can use the simple traffic models and liveries with VATSIM that makes this program not just an essential for those of you flying with uh, normal live traffic from Azobo but for those flying on VATSIM who want a whole host of liveries that are now all easily downloadable in one place this program is also for you the product will be released in the next few days, so check out the link in the video description in order to get your hands on this product when it is released. Big thanks to Aerosoft for all the hard work they've done, particularly following the problems they had following Sim Update 5. Really glad to see this come to Microsoft Flight Simulator. It really is a game-changing product. If you've enjoyed this video, please do leave a like. If you're new to the channel, of course, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and turn on the notifications bell. And let me know what you think of this product down in the comments. We'll be very interested to hear. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye for now.